Hello everyone, and welcome back to the video blog of Pseudocomanians. I know it has been a long time since we posted a video, but we had been busy organizing the Asia Sudoku Championship 2020, which was held in Hyderabad, India. Now that that's been done with, a few people had asked us to present a tutorial kind of a video on the inequality or the greater than Sudoku that was posted on our website on 14th February. So hopefully we'll be able to provide more videos and much more frequently. So coming back to this Sudoku, this was the first time that we had presented the inequality Sudoku on our website. So normally what the rules of the Sudoku are that cells between two cells, there would be some mathematical symbols of greater than or less than that would be presented. These symbols signify the relationship between the two digits in the adjoining cells. So for example, when we look at R1C2, we see that there is a less than sign between R1C1 and R1C2, which basically means the digit that comes in row 1 and column 2 will always be greater than the digit that comes in row 1 and column 1. Now, how do we start off solving this blank grid? Normally, I start with the highest digit possible in the cell, which is number 9. Now, we know for sure that 9 is the largest number that can be placed in the grid. Hence, 9 will never be in a cell which has a less than, a less than sign pointing towards it. So, initially, we start off with identifying cells in every box, row or column, which can contain the digits 9. Now, when I look at R1C1, R1, R1C2 and R1C3, all three of them have the less than sign pointing to it. So we can safely assume that the digit 9 cannot come in these three. Same with R1, R2C1, it cannot be in R2C2. 9 could be a possibility here, not here, not here, and here. And now going, moving to the next box, 9 could be here, not here, not here, because we have the less than signs pointing towards those cells not here not here not here not now how oh, it can be here possible possible not here not here not here yes. now that we have placed the pencil marks here but when we closely look at row 2 there is only one place where the digit 9 can be placed so we can simply have the 9 there and remove it from here now using this 9 as the base we look at the connecting rows in column. So for box 4, 9 cannot be in these. It cannot be here, it cannot be here, it cannot be here. So this has to be a 9. And following the classic Sudoku rules, 9 will come here. So have, now that we have made some progress, let's look at box 5. 9 cannot be in the top 3 cells. It cannot be here, not here, not here, not here, not here. So this has to be a 9, which makes this a 9. This would eliminate the 9 from here and we have the 9 of box 3 logged in row 1 which eliminates the 9 from there and we have and coming back to classic pseudo with 9, 9 this becomes a 9 and by using the classic rules again we have a 9 here and a 9 here. So now that we have got all the 9s we move on to the next largest number which is 8. Now 8 is greater than all the other remaining numbers but less than 9 only. So now we move on and try to find all the 8s that can be placed. So 8 cannot be here because all these cells are being pointed uh, by other cells with a less than sign. So 8 could be here, it could be here and here. Similarly, this cannot be an 8. 8 is here, not here, not here. It can be here, not in these two. 8 is a possibility here, 8 is a possibility here, not here, not here, not here, okay. This is an 8, or possibility, that is, this is another possibility, and all these three have the less than sign pointing, so we can blindly remove. Not here, not here, possible, 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 no, 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 no. 
possible, 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 not in these three, not here, not here, here it's possible, here it's possible, and it's possible here. Not here, not here, not here. Ah, great. Now, just like we got the first nine, when we look at the first three columns, in column two, A has only one possibility where it can fit in. So we can blindly place the eight here, remove it from here, which eliminates the eight. You get an eight, eight, eight. So the eight is out of here, the eight goes out of here. With the eight getting logged in column six, we can eliminate the H, and now when we look at it, this H is also out. So we have an H, 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 eight, 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 eight. And we have nearly got all the eights. So now we take it to the next step wherein we find the next largest number, which would be a 7. So 7 would be less than 8 and 9, but greater than all the other. So this can be a 7, this can be a 7, and this would be a 7, any one of these three. This cannot be a 7, this cannot be a 7, because both these cells have a less than sign pointing towards it. This could be a 7, not here, not here. This could be a 7. So since this... 7 of box 2 is logged in row 2. We know for sure in box 3 it cannot be in row 2. So this could be a 7 and this could be a 7. Next, 7 could be here because it is less than 8 and 9. It could also be here or here. 7 could be here, not in these two. It could be here. It could be here. But again, looking at the columns 4, 5 and 6, in box 2 and 5, the 7s are logged in column 4 and column 6, which basically means 7 in box 8 has to be in column 5, which would make this cell a 7. So using this as a bias, let's say this could be a 7, 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 this cannot be a 7. And coming to this, 7 cannot be in these two, can be here, here. Oh, I have with the again columns 7 and 9, the 7s are logged in box 3 and 6. Hence, this would not be a 7, this becomes my 7, 7, 7. So now we have got the sevens as well. The next largest number would be six. So let's try to find the sixes where they would be. It could be here since it's less than seven and nine. It cannot be here, not here. This could be a six. This could be a six. Six could be here or here. Not here, not here, not here. Again, the sixes are logged in column one and three. So in this box, six could be here or here. It has, there has to be a 6 in the column 2. 6 could be here, it could be here, not in these two. It could be here, it could be here. Now when we look at it, in row 3, the only options for 6 are in column 1 and 3. So this 6 can be eliminated. This would be a 6, this would be a 6. Now again we see that for rows 4 and 5, the 6s are locked in boxes 4 and 5. So 6 has to be in either of these two. And now again, for column 5, 6 cannot be here, not here, not here, not here. So it has to be in any of these two cells. But it cannot be in R7C5 
because we would require a larger number in R7C6. Hence, this becomes 6. It gets eliminated. 6, 6, and 6 here. This becomes a 6. 6, 6. Now we have got the 6. Now we move on to where the 5s would be. 5 could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, or here. So we require a 5 in column 2. So it could be here or here, but this cannot be a 5 because we require a larger number. So this becomes my 5. So this has to be one of the 5s. 5's here or here, 5 could be here or here, or here for that matter, this could be a 5, 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 5, and 5. Now we have no clear breakthrough. However, here comes the tricky part. When I look at this 5, all right, if R8C4 was a 5, it would make R1C5 as 5, and I would have the 5 in R5C6, which would push the 5 into R6C7 which would then make R2C9 as 5 and R8C8 as 5 which would not fit into the Sudoku rules because we started off with R8C4. I will explain this uh, easily. So we can say if you eliminate the 5 from here and this becomes a 5, this becomes a 5, this is a 5. Now we have got all the fives. Now when I look at these four cells which are remaining in the, the box two, I see that all of them are in hierarchical order. This being larger than this, which is larger than R three C five, which is larger. So I can safely place them in sequential order. So this would be a three four and a three four. If this is three four, it has to be one two and three. If this is a two three. This is a 2 and 3. So obviously I cannot have 4 here because 4 cannot be less than. So this has to be a 1. This becomes my 4. And this would also be a 4, which is a 2, 3 here. This is 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. Now with 4 and 3 here, this has to be 1, 2. So this is 2, this is 1. This is a 4. 3, 4. This becomes my 1. So this again is a 2, 3. This is a 1. 1, 1, 4, because this would be a 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, and 4 can be like these, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, this is, okay, 2, 4, 2, 4, this is a 3, 2, this has to be a 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 2, 3, 3, and a 2, 3, 4, oh, sorry, this would be a 2, not a 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's how this support inequality Sudoku was supposed to be solved. I know that finding out that 5 was the tricky bit. But I thought it would be a challenging. Now, that technique that we use to identify the 5 and eliminate it from R8C4, normally 
some people can call it the chain technique some call it and the colors technique you can name it whatever you want some can even call it trial and error but the point is in competitions at times we do reach a stage where we have to find these chains and identify the uh, or rather identify the numbers that can be eliminated because they are going to contradict the sudoku rules hope you had a, a good understanding of how to approach this inequality sudoku if you like the video please subscribe to our channel share and comment on it if you have and as always if you have any feedbacks or suggestions do not hesitate to reach out to us till the next time thank you